Good afternoon. I'm student Dr. Marissa Young, reporting from Midwestern University. Today I'll be demonstrating how to assess for scoliosis using a scoliometer. We will demonstrate a normal exam, followed by a positive result. Scoliosis is a condition of the spine in which there is a lateral curvature of over 10 degrees. Scoliosis is usually screened for around the adolescent years. Now I will demonstrate a normal exam. First we do a general inspection of the back. Then we check to see if the shoulders and anominates are level. Next we do the Adams forward bending test with the scoliometer. Standing behind the patient, have the patient bend forward until the thoracic spine is parallel to the ground. Place the scoliometer level at T1 and slowly advance in a caudal direction. Take note of where the needle moves. Upon reaching the thoracolumbar junction, instruct the patient to continue to flex forward. Advance the scoliometer until you reach the sacrum and continue to take note of the movement of the needle. I'm student Dr. Dory Moskowitz from Midwestern University and I will now demonstrate a positive exam. First I'll see how the shoulders are level and the anominates. I'll have the patient flex forward and here you can see the paravertebral humping already on the right side. Using the scoliometer starting at T1, slowly advance it and you can see the needle moving towards 10 degrees. And now coming back the other way as the lumbar spine compensates. X-rays should be done for scoliosis that needs treatment. Uh, curvature over 20 degrees may need bracing and curvature over 45 degrees may need surgical intervention. Back to you, Marissa. Scoliosis, don't let it throw you for a curve. 